Hello friends! Welcome back. Uh, today, it's gonna be a weird one today, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, today's movie is one that I've been wanting to do pretty much since I started getting the idea that I wanted to do this. It's one I don't expect a lot of people to be interested in because it is so odd, but there, there is, there is some reason to it. Okay, so the movie is Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and I'm gonna tell you why I really wanted to watch this. It's a quick story time here. When I was a kid, when we would go to my grandparents' house, um, my cousins and I would always end up basically hiding out in uh, a spare room because my grandfather hated small children. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. He did. He hated small children. Um, and so I, I remember many events, many, you know, get-togethers at their house where my cousins and I would just be in this back room and for some reason this movie always seemed to be on. I don't know if it was just on all the time on, I don't know, TBS or HBO or something or if it was a video. And I don't even know, maybe, I, I mean, I could be wrong about how many times it even actually happened, you know, but for some reason that's what I remember. So much of, of my, my childhood memories going to my grandparents' house involved all of us hiding out in the back room because you didn't want grandpa to scream at you. I may have some things I need to unpack with a professional. But for today, we're going to watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it because even though I remember it, I don't remember it. I remember some of the visuals. I remember the clowns, obviously. And, but I don't remember the story. I don't remember what actually happens. I don't remember anything. But in my head, I love this movie. <laughs> it's so dumb. So I think it may be time to revisit it and see if, if, I, if I still love it, if I love it for the reasons I did before, or if it's just a nostalgia thing. I don't know. But I'm really excited to find out. I'm really hyped about this. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm so jazzed for this. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. It's so cheesy already. With the shaky camera. And the scary music. And nobody I've ever heard of. That's how you know a horror movie is really good bad. When you don't know anybody. I like that theme song. Put it right in there. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for all you make out artists at the top of the world. That's so weird. I always thought that was so weird. People making out like with everybody around you. Clown with the bestest ice cream in town. We'll give you the stick. You give it a lick, and it'll tickle you all the way down. I a tasty treat for while you screw. Let's take a break. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Come on. Okay. Just got cock blocked by some killer clowns. What in blue blazes the circus doing up in these parts? They better not hurt the dog, though. You know, there's something kind of peculiar around here. You think? Where is it? Now that makes me unhappy. Oh god. Oh, I think they, they turned him into cotton candy, I think, or something. But when you bring someone into the station, I don't want to see you beating them up. Now if you're gonna book them, yeah. do it according to procedure. Now get in there. Get in there! This guy's got a real hard on for busting teenagers. What's this circus tent doing all the way out here? Something's wrong. This this doesn't feel right. A lot of people with instincts not listening to them. Listen to your instincts. Your gut knows what it's talking about. This is why you don't go on adventures. This is why you don't explore. You stay home where you're safe. Be a hermit. You'll live. Why do people just go in places? When they don't know what it is and they don't know why it's there. This is no fun house. No shit! 
The street star we went to go look for. We are in it. You should yell louder. Oh, I okay. I remember the cotton candies now. Yeah, they're like cocoons. I don't believe in UFOs, but if they do exist, then then we're trapped in one right now. It sounds like me and ghosts. I don't believe in them. They're not real. But if they are, you know, I'm not taking any chances. Stuff starts flying around. I'm out of there. You know? Ah! <laughs> Gross. Cholomardo. You donut. You need to run faster. Oh. Are you okay? Popcorn? Why? Popcorn? Because the clowns. That's why. But why are they clowns? <laughs> this may have contributed to my lingering fear of clowns. We have to tell the police. I have a friend there. I know he'll believe us. I wouldn't even believe us. Yeah, yeah, it does sound nuts. You want a burger to go with that shake? Look at you, guy. They're all rocking it. It's pretty amazing that these aliens just happen to all, like, look and behave exactly like what we would consider clowns and the whole motif. The theme is on point. Spaceship, and there was these things, these the, uh, killer clowns, and, and they, they shot popcorn at us. We barely got away. Oh, you sound high as fuck, man. Killer clowns from outer space. You two were up at the top of the world together? I think it sounds better calling it top of the world versus make out point. Well, you better go now, Dave. Before the clowns take over, huh? <laughs> like, I would just run screaming the other way. I would just run the other way the minute I saw the guy. He's already cocooned people, and you're still just sitting there. I don't know what you're doing. Should have been out the back door. I'm going back up there with you. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my boyfriend anymore, all right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend anymore. It doesn't change the way I feel about you, little Debbie. Dave, How uncomfortable please. for the new boyfriend. Also, why you be a hermit and don't open the door? Look, don't worry about Dave. It's those Dave's a good guy. He's cool. I can tell. I feel like this guy's a downgrade from Dave. I'm just saying. They're still just tearing the place apart, and guarantee that old man is still just standing there. <laughs> My block off. <laughs> okay, like my cousins and me watching this movie, we were like, we were ranged in age from like 12 down to like four. <laughs> We're watching this thing with almost literal babies. <laughs> Our parents are so irresponsible. Oh, jeez. That clown is terrifying, child. What's wrong with you? No. Oh, this has so many weird, gross pedal vibes. I can't even... Does no one see the clown luring the child? These parents are as irresponsible as mine. Back here, young lady. You're not going anywhere till you finish your food. <sighs> Thank God. Make out point. Sorry. Top of the world. Premature cotton candification. I like how I keep trying to hide my fat, like... We all know I'm fat. I know I'm fat. It's out in the open. What? Clown. Stupid kids and their pranks. They're the 
police department can babysit the little pricks. Who are you talking to? I mean, says me talking to nobody. I'm I'm talking to you. We're friends. Why are you still there? This has been going on for like half an hour. Yeah, maybe everybody isn't fucking with you. Took your wife away in a balloon? If everyone else is crazy, it's probably actually you. <laughs> what the- That was some offensively bad special effects. Is he like a mime? Is it- Oh my. <laughs> Must be a pinto. Popcorn is alive. Gross. Oh yeah, lean all the way over. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to feel sorry for anybody. This town is dumb. It's obvious she goes for last, not stability. <laughs> you're funny, but you're a loser. <laughs> It's clearly witchery. What are you? Uh. So a, a dinosaur and it eats him. <laughs> Holy shit! I will be fair and say that maybe I maybe that's a memory in my head because that was a little too perfect for me to just randomly guess it. I thought the big bad clown's got a hold of it. Over. You're a dick. Over. My idea. You're the one who said we get girls this way. No, I didn't. You did. You did. I can't see y'all ever getting girls anyway. There's no time to explain. There's clowns going around killing people. I saw the spaceship and there were these clowns and they was carrying these, these cotton candy cocoons. There's no time to explain, but let me explain. Look, at least take me over to Debbie's house, okay? I think she's in danger. Does she have any roommates? Got two beautiful roommates with big boobs. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Hey, there's more people fucking with you. You ain't gonna get the best of me. Uh. <laughs> Yay! Now let's have some fun. I do appreciate the effects with the masks, with the ears, and the, all the movement. That's that's good stuff. I love practical effects. I'm supposed to read you your rights, but you're in Mooney's jail. Still have to do it there too. And you ain't. You're gonna be begging for mercy. I somehow don't think so. It's pretty good that they can make like rubber footprints feel ominous. Ah! I mean, he had it coming, but that was, that was, that was highly, highly upsetting. Highly disturbing. Oh, and they're good. They can't be killed. That's good to know. <laughs> you have to get him in the nose. I see you made sure to put your one big earring in so you can chill out the rest of the night. Acted less surprised than I did. Ew! She's resourceful. I'll give her that. Debbie, Debbie, it's Mike. Open up. Don't just open it. It's the clowns. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. They're there too. Kick him in the balls! I mean, it's worth a shot. <laughs> so some get cotton candy dead instantly, some get ballooned. You're too late, Galavant. 
Y'all just better not have killed Dave. That's all I'm saying. You just killed Dave's cruiser. What the hell are you guys doing? What are you gonna do with those pies, boys? <laughs> are they poison? Ah, yes, they're poison. Acid or turned him into a pie. I don't know. Does it matter? It's glorious. <laughs> like a wad of melted ice cream. Yeah, well, it's not. Yeah! These, and these two ding-dongs just follow along blindly. I would be out of town by now. I would be going the other way. They probably still think that the big-boobed roommates exist. Maybe to the ancient astronauts and all the chemical planet centuries ago. Idea of clowns just comes from them. Don't push it, you pine cone. What happened? What did you do? Trap door. <laughs> that was my joke, guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you Debbie's roommates? Wait a second. I'm remembering a a a, like a, like a silly straw blood that looked like Kool-Aid. <laughs> I want to call that one the lunch lady. Is it ripe? Oh, yeah, there's a silly straw! It does look like Kool-Aid. It wasn't just my child brain. Man, that stuff works fast. And they have such clear blood, you'd think it would just be all sludgy. That's not... That makes me uncomfortable. That's all you get out of a whole cocoon? No wonder they needed the whole town. You're gonna eat everybody, man! Just Quit just yelling! Ugh! Oh, you are so dumb! <laughs> oh, she's hugging the old boyfriend. We can't leave! There might be other people still alive in these balloons! You should have thought of that before you made all that fucking noise. Oh my god, those things in a fun house, when they make the walls start moving, I just vertigo and fall over. Oh, be another door oh, behind it, door. a smaller door. <laughs> door. Come on, Mike! <laughs> another door! Another door! Another door! <laughs> this begs the question, which is worse? Death by liquefying cocoon or blunt force trauma. I think they're both better than becoming a puppet. Good Isaiah Ralph! Uh, I give me the mic. I command you to stop! Do not hurt them! Let them go! <laughs> they're buying this? And hey, go on, they got- they got some action! Come on, let's go, get in the truck! Let's go! Pantsless and everything! What in the... Oh, shit snacks. This guy's like a Godzilla and a Juggalo at a baby. Oh, we're taking off. Come on, you. Oh my god, that was obviously a doll. That's gonna be one big explosion. That's what she said. <laughs> oh Get back, Dave. Dave? It's Dave! Oh. You made it! Oh. You got it. So are they like a thruple now? Do you think it's over? Oh. Hopefully that's actual pie and not like acid pie. <laughs> oh my god. The whole
whole town is dead. <laughs> right? <laughs> that song is amazing. Oh, is it? Is it fictitious? Thanks. Okay, killer clowns from outer space. Was it everything I dreamed it would be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. At least I can say now I legitimately love it, not just just the memory. Even though the memories, as I just kind of figured out, are not really good. But <laughs> was it bad? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was real bad. Um, but in a good way, too. Like, in a fun way. It was not trying to take itself seriously. It was not trying to be anything other than what it was, which was a B movie. It was just fun. It was. It knew how stupid it was and it played right into it. And I can appreciate that. I respect that in a movie. Did I like it more because I have these warm nostalgic feelings for it? Probably. Probably. But that's okay. It was, it was a really fun, silly, dumb movie. I liked it a lot. Girl, Debbie was actually a pretty, pretty well-written character for an 80s, an 80s B-horror movie. She was, she was smart and she was brave. She was resourceful. You know, I appreciated, I appreciated her. Mike was kind of a, he was kind of a walnut. He was basically useless, you know, but you know, fun character to follow. Dave is a good hero. I like Dave. Respect Dave. The pacing was really good. It didn't, it didn't waste a lot of time. It just dumped you right into the concept and just rolled with it. And I appreciated that because I don't, I don't need to waste time. You know, I don't need, to, I, I don't need to think about, you know, kind of the ramifications of so much of this stuff and you know, what it what it means or where it was going or what happened. I don't need to know. The whole town died in the end. The whole town was gone. They were either cocooned or they blew up on the ship. And it was like, eh? Pies in the face. Happy. <laughs> Anything that wasn't practical effects and makeup was bad. But the practical effects with the with, with the faces, the mask there with the with the you know, the the gnarly mouths and the ears and, and you know, that was actually really good. That, that still holds up well. Practical effects t tend to hold up. They still look good. Anything that wasn't practical um, was, was very bad. But, uh, you know, it's part of the charm for these kinds of movies. It's part of the charm. It wasn't scary, but I don't think it was meant to be scary. I definitely don't like clowns, though, and I don't know if, if this is why. <laughs> or aliens. This movie could explain a lot of things about my, about my brain. So that's Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And I'm glad you were here to watch it with me. Because if you're seeing this, you were here the whole time. Or you skipped to the end just to hear me talk. In which case, hey, I like that too. I'm cool with that. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking around. If you like the video, even if you kind of like the video, even if you just like me, click the like button, share, subscribe if you haven't. Hope to see you again next time and have a great rest of your day.